With school now in session, the summer routine of sleeping in late, lying around and watching TV, or just hanging out with some friends may be put on hold. But for Steven Stamkos and Michael Delzato, their day-to-day -day routine does not change. While both prepare for their NHL training camps in a few weeks' time, their off-ice training is just as important as working on a more powerful stride or an accurate wrist shot. Over the next two days, I'll take you into the gym with Stamkos and Delzato as they both prepare off the ice for that next step in that hockey career. Four more. One, two, three, one more, one more, one more. For the past six years, Randy Smith has trained both Steven Stamkos and Michael Delzato at Body Smith, a fitness and performance training studio in Richmond Hill. His motivation has helped the boys achieve their goals of playing in the Ontario Hockey League. Now they're preparing for the National Hockey League. And with that, Smith ups their workout routine. It's a tri-set workout, three circuits, four sets. It's good for the body. I mean, um, you kind of get bored if you do the same things over and over again. And, you know, we're, when we're doing the three exercises in a row, um, four sets of, of each thing, it's pretty difficult. But uh, it's also great for the body and it, and it keeps you... Uh, I'm uh, definitely stronger and, and more mo motivated as you're doing some new drills. I'm a little sore right now. It was a tough workout today. After concentrating on the chest and shoulders, the next three drills focused on the upper as well as the lower body. Exercises that Delzato finds beneficial for his game. The, the jumping shrugs and then the clean and press. Well, yeah. The clean and press is probably the best thing. It helps you out with the explosiveness and that's what you need in hockey, especially with the new game. It's all about qu uh, quickness and explosiveness, so it helps you out a lot on the ice. With the first two circuits concentrating more on the upper body, the boys went on to focus on the legs. Maybe one of the most important sets as your leg strength is a significant part of the game. Obviously skating uh, skating is a huge part of the hockey and uh, it's the biggest thing is squats is a huge thing part of your workout so we did that with uh, with pop-ups which helps your your quickness and explosiveness off the ground and then uh, squat jumps so it's just basically a bag around your legs and it uh, builds them up. We talk about that we're doing those extra 30 squat jumps at the end it helps you when you get into overtime and, and your legs aren't feeling bagged. Can't afford to take any days off and you know back in the day guys didn't have to work out uh, as much cause just because they could get away with, with pure skill. And in today's game, uh, if you didn't work out off the ice, you're going to be one or two steps behind everyone. So it's, it's a very important part of the game, and you know everyone's doing it, so you have to keep up. Well, to try and stay ahead of the competition, both Steven and Mike agreed to do one final set, strictly abs, and in the end, both emptied the tank as they gave it all they had left. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Can't feel my abs right now. That was uh, definitely a good ab workout, and we got to hit the ice, so get a good meal in, and we're off. That last Russian twist thing was a was a bagger going up to eight and back down. It just kills the abs. Uh, certainly does, it certainly helps out when you're at the beach and you get those extra looks from the girls. <laughs> Be sure to tune in to First Local Sports on Wednesday. It's part two of our exclusive with Steven Stamkos and Michael Delzato. Tomorrow we will focus on trying to stay focused when in the gym and how important motivating each other has grown their friendship. Welcome to the back half of our two-part series on Steven Stamkos and Michael Delzato. Yesterday we featured a typical workout the young athletes take part in on a day-to-day -day basis. Today we take a closer look at how tough it is to stay motivated when in the gym. The training facility is filled with young athletes, mostly hockey players, and the music is blasting, so you are bound to get distracted. Conversations with your buddies can get in the way of trying to stay motivated during a workout. It's kind of a good thing and a bad thing to have some, you know, some friends in here. Obviously, it's good because you know we're all playing at, at the same level of hockey, and our ultimate goal is, is to play in the National Hockey League, and we can push each other when, um, you know, maybe some guy needs a, a lift or something like that. But you know, on the downside, sometimes we kind of get caught up in, in talking about how the weekend went and, and stuff like that. But you know, for the most part, we're, we're pretty dedicated, and we all have the same dream in mind, and, and we're definitely pushing each other to, to achieve that. We're pretty, pretty motivated, I guess, trying to get to the next level, but there's obviously lots of guys we know in here, and uh, we have a good time when we're at the gym. You know, lots of guys like to stay focused and right to their workout routine, and obviously we're focused as well, and we've worked hard this summer, but uh, we, we like to stay, uh, have some fun in here too and, and keep each other loose. 2008 marks the sixth straight summer that the boys took to the gym floor at Body Smith in Richmond Hill, so with that much experience of working out together, Stamkos is pretty much all ears when it comes to Del Zotto stories. He's a pretty sociable guy and he's got lots of stories to tell so um, you know for the most part I'm all ears but um, you know we definitely try to keep each other uh, on focus and on task because uh, at the end of the day the, the exercises are, are going to get us to the next level. 
suiting up for the Markham Waxers organization growing up. Maybe the last time we ever see Stamkos and Delzato on the same team. Now they may never don the same unis again, but their friendship off the ice is stronger than ever. We have a pretty special bond. Uh, obviously we played together in minor hockey for, for a very long time with that Markham Waxer team. And, you know, since day one when we met each other, we kind of, you know, hit it off right away. And we've been great friends, you know, both on and off the ice ever since. And it's great for us to push each other. And like you said, it was a little weird playing against each other for in the OHL. But, um, you know, it's part of the game now. And hopefully one day we can achieve that dream of playing against each other in the National Hockey League.